going on everybody? It's your boy Titan FJ and I'm back at you again with another video. We got an early look at the upcoming Air Jaw Retro 5 Green Bean. But before we get into that, I'd like to welcome y'all back. Thank y'all for watching videos, comment, and if you want to continue to follow me on this journey as I build my sneaker collection, you go on and sub up to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any video I upload on these sneakers as I build my collection. And if you want to follow me on other social media platforms as well, here's the links right here on the screen. Now today, we're taking a look at a shoe that retro of uh, the Green Bean 5. Uh, the retro well, it originally came out back in 2006. You know, and it was pretty much the same look. I'm not sure about the materials. I have not seen a pair from back in 06, but this shoe is a retro of that and what we have here today. And from the information I gather, those had 3M on those as well, just like the pair that we're about to look at. Speaking of that pair, let's get into it. Okay, let's look at the box. Here's the box. It says Air Jordan 5 Retro Color. You see that silver, green bean, flat gray. Size 15. And I believe the retail on these are gonna be 200. I'll put it on the screen. I have a hard time keeping up with the MSRP prices on these sneakers. But looking at the box, you see that that box right there. Silver, green bean, jump man right there. Look around. Jordan branding. Flip the box top. You have a lot step right here in blue. You got your splatter paper. Oh, that's all you get. And you have your YDM sticker on the inside. Now let's get into the part that you guys came here for. The sneakers. Here we go guys. The Air Jordan Retro 5 Green Bean. Now I'm going to say this. And just hope you understand. The upper is entirely new buck. The upper of the sneaker is new buck. But it has a 3M finish. That's why it feels smooth. Because if you take a picture of it with the flash on. The entire upper is gonna, gonna shine, gonna give you that 3M finish. You have your uh, flat gray eyelets right there. Also, you got your, your translucent mesh right here and you have gray behind it as well. You have your flat gray on your midsole with that green bean shark teeth right there, like you always have on your five, and you have that translucent hit right here. You got your clear air housing, and on the inside, we got white on the inside. Let's look at the outsole. Fat gray, Jordan Jumpman, green bean, underneath the translucent, and you got your translucent right there. Looking at the heel, embroidered, Jaw jump man and the green bean colorway. Looking at the medial side, you have your uh, gray eyelets right there, your translucent cage with gray in the background. More of that new buck with that 3M finish on top. Midsole, more of your gray around your air housing. Clear bubble white inside, you have that hit of green bean right here and that hit of translucent. And your uh, toe box, here you go. It feels smooth. Yes, I know this isn't adding up to me that this is new buck, but they got a 3M finish on top of the new buck, which makes this smooth. You got your gray laces with the translucent cage underneath. These are the only laces they came with, and you have your lace lock, clear lace lock with your green bean push pin. And you have your uh tongue with the green bean colored Jordan Jumpman logo and as you can see that we do have green bean sock liner and to the top of the tongue collar flip it around 
Air Jordan is not upside down this time. You can actually read it. I don't know what made him change that. I'm not sure if the change was made back in those days when he was making fires back when Jordan was playing, but now they come upside down. We're gonna look at your uh, shoe tree, side 1516, Jordan Jumpman on here. Mold the sock liner as well. Try to get you guys a look at the inside of this sneaker. Here we go. Gray insert, green bean fire jaw jump man. And you got a sizing sticker in here. Let's see if I can find that sizing tag for you guys. Your size tag reads Side 15 production date November 17th of last year to January 7th of this year. So only a couple months of production on these. So they must have rolled these out. They were producing these because from what I hear, these are coming out in full family sizing. And the numbers are seeming to be pretty high. So if you're in the market to get these, if you do the leg work, you should be able to get yourself a pair. So uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you plan on getting these. Me, I'm still undecided, but that's for here or there. Stay tuned to the channel and find out if I get these. But I'm about to roll out and I can always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know. But it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack.